morning, everyone. Happy Monday. It is still morning, by the way. This is Tim Eat here from Faith Factor. I got a really kind of an important message to share with you this morning. In fact, it's not kind of an important message. It's a really important message. Even before I started spending a lot of the time that I've been spending for about the last year plus, like in a really special deep place, um, doing some of the research, going inside not only myself, but going inside the minds of some really amazing human beings. Even before that, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I had learned to, uh, to kind of monitor something that I call my inner voice. And you're like, what are you talking about? That's the voice right there, the one that's saying, what are you talking about? That guy doesn't know what he's saying, or why is this guy driving so slow? Sometimes the inner voice becomes the outer voice. I get that too. You're like, should I get these uh, potatoes, or should I get some sweet potatoes? Should I get pizza, or should I get something healthy? You know, this voice that's always going on. It's, it's your inner voice. It's the one that's going on inside that, that, that you listen to and that talks to you and you talk to it. My question is this, when did it become okay for that inner voice to start saying, why am I so fat? Man, I'm not, they're not gonna pick me. I know out of all these people that are applying for this job, they're not gonna pick me. How am I supposed to go from making this much money to this much money? How, that's not even possible. And somewhere inside, after a while, all this crap gets piled on so high that you actually start to believe your own press. And unfortunately, the voice that used to be your friend when you were a little girl, when you were a little boy, that would say, I can do anything. Maybe someday I'll be president. Hey, I'm gonna be a fireman. I'm gonna be a nurse, a doctor, lawyer, whatever. I have my own business. Somewhere inside, that voice started setting limitations for you and in fact telling you you're not good enough. So here's what I, don't even try to deny it, okay? Because <laughs> I don't, BS a BSer here, because I BS myself at some points in time when that voice would try to tell me bad stuff. And one day I just caught it, insidiously talking to me, trying to run me. When your inner voice doesn't run you, you run it. It comes from your mind, and it comes from your thoughts, and it comes from your attitude. So here's what I want to share with you. Starting today, first become conscious of your inner voice. And the next time it says something negative to you, like, man, I'm so stupid, why did I do that? Uh-oh, -uh, no, 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 whoa, stop. The next time your voice says, I'm so forgetful, I'm just not as good with my memory as I used to be. Uh, I'm no good at math, why do I suck at this? Hey, let me tell you, there's only one way to get better at something that you're not good at or proficient at. There's only one way in all of history, and that's to study, to gain understanding. Once you start to study, and you realize that you're on a path of progress to gaining understanding, your voice starts to change. But first you have to change it, and then it'll start to change. And then you'll continue to change it, and it'll continue to change. And after a while, just like with me, it is unacceptable. It is unacceptable for my voice to tell me that I'm not good enough. Seriously. Now, I'm not saying that my voice says, hey, you, you could have done better. Your voice should be there to, to, to keep you in line, but not to keep you down, okay? So be aware that your inner voice is real. It talks to you every day, you talk to it. And when you get up in the morning, what am I gonna eat? Why do I have to go to work? You have to go to work to have to go to work. But think of your life as more than just making a living. Maybe start asking some questions. Why am I going to work? Why am I, why am I going to work here? Do I like going to work here? And if the answer is yes, how can I be better at it? How can I enjoy it more? How can I make more money at it? If the answer is no, I think you already know. Where do I need to go from here? What is really something that's in my heart? Because maybe you think you got a contract that's gonna allow you to be around here forever and ever and ever and to procrastinate till the end of time. It ain't happening. One day we are all, I don't know if we're gonna wake up it's gonna happen or it's just gonna happen and we're gonna be, there's no more time. It's done. We've seen it happen to so many people that we know, people that we love. People were here yesterday. They were here last year, this time last year. And now they're in our hearts and our memories only. I remember when my father left, it seemed like only yesterday. He's been gone since November of 2003, almost 14 years now. The only permanent in life is change. That is the only constant. 
monitor your inner voice. Start today. If there's nothing else that comes out of this conversation, because it's really the only topic of this conversation, it's monitor, be aware of your inner voice, take control of your inner voice with your thoughts, with your attitude. Only two things in this life you can control. We'll talk about those things some more as we go on, but I want to continue to share with you. If you would like to receive, I will give this information and more importantly, the emotion behind this information because it's real. It's not just me talking, it's real. Hear what I'm saying, please. Have an amazing day. You, your inner voice, me, my inner voice. Today is a better day than yesterday and almost as good as tomorrow. Have an amazing day, everybody. Tim Ede, Faith Factor TV, out.